in this video i will be telling you how to create awesome graphics and uh, how to create awesome structures with very minimal efforts and for this video i'm gonna be telling you how to create flowers in corel draw and i'm using the x5 version of corel draw uh, you may be using uh, x6 or x7 or whatever the future versions i don't know when you are watching this video uh, this uh, for creating the pet the flower we first have to create its petal and for the petal i will use the bezier curve bezier tool to uh, make the petal and i will choose two points here and make them uh, shift to the left make the curve to, to the left side and it is perfect now the curve so i'm going to zoom in a bit zoom in a bit more okay so I, I now i have to make the other side of the uh, petal so i will uh, again select the bezier tool then i will select this node double click on it to remove the the pointer in the other, other direction then i'm gonna s make a node here so that because if i uh, join the node on top then it will move the uh, the curve to the right side simply uh, make a node with some distance from the top node and you will get a curve like this simply uh, select the pick tool double click on this uh, node and you will see these two arrows simply uh, drag it to join this and make it a complete petal now you have a complete petal with uh, with a border and uh, uh, to make it more appealing let's fill some colors in it let's fill uh, green color or some light color like uh, this one this one is decent enough okay so uh, now we have to add some transparency effect so that it looks perfectly like a uh, petal so uh, i'm gonna go here and uh, select the transparency tool then i'm gonna apply the transparency tool It will take some time for the adjustment of the transparency effect but that should not be a problem if you are if you have done it before okay so now i have to create a copy of this now i have the copy of this so i will create its horizontal mirror image and for that i will use this option provided here uh, this is for mir mirror horizontally and this is for mirror vertically so uh, i'm going to make it horizontal and uh, you can see that I have got the other side of the petal. Let's uh, bring them together to make it look look like a petal with some uh, white transparent white transparency effect. Okay, so now it is perfect. Or uh, if you want, then you can change the color of the right side of the petal. Let's make it yellow, or you can choose any color that you want. And uh, now we have to combine them into a single single structure. So I'm going to select both of them then I'm going to right click on it and click on group or you can either use the keyboard shortcut control plus G to uh, group them into a single object okay so now we have a single petal ready and now we are ready to uh, make a complete flower with very uh, special trick now with the graphic selected click on it once one more time so that you see these uh, rotation arrows now you will see the center of that it with a circle and a pointer depicting its center so simply drag it drag the center to the uh, bottom of the structure or you can make it a little bit outside the the petal okay so it will look like this as you can see in the video and uh, uh, now we just have to do a simple thing i will first tell you how to do it then i will show you how it is done and how it will look so uh, to make its copies with some offset I have to click on this drag you can either use the right side or you can also use this side of the drag that is not that is all up to you uh, while uh, dragging the uh, the pedal to some angle uh, just uh, before releasing the mouse click just press the right mouse click and hold it until you see this uh, see the pointer your cursor changing to a black pointer with a a plus operator in the super superscript area you will see structure like this simply uh, release everything 
and you will see that uh, a structure has been copied and now we want to uh, repeat these these petals all around the center of the flower so just keep on pressing control plus d until you get a complete flower and uh, as soon as that will be done your flower will be ready and you can use that graphic to uh, whichever you whatever you want and if if i zoom out a bit it will look like this from the top and uh, if you want you can add some more customization in it so uh, let me just copy one petal from the center like this okay so sorry i have replaced it i have created a copy of the central node which is this one and i have this side i'm going to make it look uh, make it fill with some dark color let's make the color pink okay reduce its size and copy it to the center of the flower okay before copying it let's make this a uh, single structure let's group all these nodes together and then i'm going to copy this one to the center of the graphic okay now it will look like this now again you have to do the same thing uh, for copying the the uh, set of petals all around the center so i'm going to click on it as you can see that the center is already at the bottom of the structure because we have already copied it from another petal so i'm just going to uh, do the same thing just uh, drag it and before releasing it press the right click button and you will see that the pointer changes to a black pointer with a plus icon in the superscript area just release it and uh, uh, and for uh, doing this subsequently press control plus d until you see that all of them are copied around us around the circle so as you can see that we have created an another flower on top of an already existing flower and uh, it is looking very decent and uh, uh, if you want to align it properly you can do it because i have already made it a single structure now we can also make it a single structure let's group them all together and if you you want to uh, draw the boundary of out of this flower simply go to this arrange tool go to this shape tool and uh, uh, select boundary and your boundary will be ready like this and you can fill some background color let's fill the background color like this or no let's choose some another color let's for this video uh let's choose some red color if you want you can choose any color it is all up to you and you can also put this graphic on top of this and uh, after that click right click on this figure because uh, your uh, red this uh, red field uh, boundary of the figure is on top of your flower so i'm going to order it to go one step behind to back of the page and now your graphic will look like this and look it is looking even more decent now and you can do this subsequently to uh, uh, make some new graphics and uh, uh, you can group them if you want to copy them like this or if you want then you can do the same thing with this flower also let me just zoom out a bit so that you can see what was happening okay so i have moved the center of this to the bottom of the flower then with this tool i'm going to copy it like this and then i'm going to press control plus d until you see this structure and you can very well see how how complex a structure can be made with some easy efforts and corel draw is the best for all these things and uh, this it is really fun to try new things in this and uh, let me just zoom out and show you and if you uh, a little bit a little bit of warning before you create some awesome structure make sure that you don't have any heavy background task running because it as more complex structures you will make that will require even more memory to manage it so this is what we have just created and uh, you can also select it and rotate it like this to uh, make it look from different angles so uh, that was it for the video let me show you another creativity
that you can do let me just zoom out a bit you can create figures like this which are basic black and white figures or you can make the figures like this if you do the same process and it is all up to you what the base palette you choose to uh, do this we have just now created this one let me just increase its size okay let me show you one more thing here let me just add a little uh, a more a uh, one more add one more page sorry uh, so i'm gonna make a busier curve let's make a busier curve quickly let's make it short now because the video has been going for too long let's double click it to remove the directional load okay so i have removed the di directional load i'm i'm creating the other side of the petal and with following and by following the same process i have this incomplete petal and uh, by double clicking it i will join this to make it a single petal i will fill some color in it let's fill this color adds and we will add some transparency effects like this then uh, we have the task of uh, uh, duplicating it let's control plus c control plus v it or copy paste it you can uh, even drag it to the other side to make it mirror copy but that will or uh, not create a perfect copy it will cause a difference in the size so let's create a copy of this and uh, uh, make a figure like this let's not make it a flower this time let's make some different structure so i'm going to make it look like this so that it is looking some it is it looks like some uh, abnormal figure just like this one let's group them together okay so these are grouped now then i'm going to click on it once more and i i'm going to drag the center to the bottom of these figures and then while dragging i'm going to press uh, control i'm going to press the right mouse click and i'm going to release it then i'm going to du duplicate it all around the page and as you can see i have created another set of flower which uh, which uh, look better than before these are very you know different type of flowers the uh, the flower that we have earlier created those were simple flower with uh, curved edge curved petal edges and this time we have created a a flower with very different petals let me show you one more thing what we can do with this now let's keep this figure aside let's or let me show you on this side okay so i have this figure i'm going to straighten this up okay so i have this figure and uh, i'm going to make it's one more copy so that it looks somewhat like this a double petal as the root and then i'm going to group them then i'm going to drag the center to the uh, bottom of the figure then i'm going to reduce reduce their size a bit let me just zoom in a bit okay S sorry let's zoom it zoom out to 200 percent okay so now we have this i'm gonna press uh, i'm gonna drag it and i'm gonna press right click before releasing and i'm gonna see this pointer turning black with a plus icon in the superscript area then i'm gonna release it i'm gonna press ctrl plus d as you can see the same flower with a different let me zoom out a bit again uh do mind it that before uh, before you group them you cannot drag them as a single figure so as you can see both these figures have their own shape and their own structure and even if i want then i can uh, reduce its size and superimpose it on this side so there are various things that we can do uh, using the corel draw we can create awesome structures and by changing the direction of the center the center of the graphic we can create different structures different patterns and depending upon the requirement of your project you can create some awesome figures and uh, 
and it is really cool even when i am making this video it feels really good to you know uh, being able to do this on a computer and not being able to do it in the real life so guys uh, that is it for the video thanks for watching hope you like it if you have any query do drop it in the comment box below and do subscribe to my channel do do not forget to check out the entire playlist of corel draw tutorials and i will be posting all these uh, awesome tutorials about new things that you can do on the corel draw and guys once again thanks for watching stay tuned see you see you in the next video bye bye